What's going on, guys? Boy Joe 672 coming to you guys with a beer right now. So, New York Jets preview. Honestly, no, it's really late in the week. I usually make these early, but um, haven't really been making them early in the week uh, most of the time. I usually do my previews with Philly Gym on Wednesday and so forth. So, um, just want to talk about it a little bit, not go crazy about it. The Eagles could easily lose this game, okay? I understand the Jets have a lot of injuries. They have injuries at linebacker. You know, the offensive line has been playing well. Uh, they still got Demarius Thomas and Robbie Anderson. They still have a lot of guys on that offensive side of the ball. Le'Veon Bell in the backfield. Um, and if Sam, Sam Darrell does come back, then, hey, it is what it is. But um, whether he's not there or Luke Falk comes in, I mean, our corners are going to get shredded every game. Until we get somebody in this room uh, to cover one side of the field or at least help out whatever that's better than what we have right now, um, our corners are going to get shredded regardless. I think the pass rush definitely got better by Green, Bay, you know, by that Green Bay game, which I really wasn't expecting too much, but it actually got a lot better. Hassan Ridgeway is looking a lot better. Guys are looking a lot better, but can, can they stay consistent? Okay, the sack numbers aren't there. Two, three sacks, whatever it is, for the past few games since the start of the season. So you're pretty much, you know, without Timmy Jernigan, of course. Uh, Sidney Jones was limited today, but he will be back. I think he will play Sunday, which it is what it is. Sidney Jones is nothing um, is nothing special in my eyes. He's just pretty much a body on this defense as of right now. Ronald Darby's out for a few more weeks. Deshaun Jackson, rumored to be back by the Cowboys game in a couple weeks. So we're not going to have Deshaun Jackson. Honestly, I don't think we need Deshaun Jackson in this game. Um, you know, so... This, I don't believe in trap games or whatever the hell everybody wants to call it. I think if this team is ready to play, um, they want to step on the mouth of this team, uh, they will do it. Um, do I think I'm pretty confident that they can win this game? I think they can win up past two scores. Uh, the only way the Jets are really going to win this game is if they stop the Eagles on third down. I think that's, you know, the Eagles are the best team on third down this year. Um, you know, Eagles have a lot more, you know, it's still an early season right now. And the Eagles need to win this game, okay? It's not even just for, I'm not even talking about the division, but as, you know, I think they found their identity last week. They need to run the ball. Um, Leonard Williams on the defensive line for the Jets has only has like 10 tackles in a few games, not really doing well, getting paid $14 million. Uh, guys aren't really doing too well. Quinton Williams that they drafted from Alabama this year, um, you know, he's back for this game, but how much is he going to do by himself? I honestly don't know. I think the Eagles need to at least hit the middle of the field, um, you know, hit the middle of the field with both these tight ends and Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard, and they need to at least uh, run the ball up the middle and uh, get some runs. I think they could run on this team, okay? Um, I'm not going to go by stats too much. I mean, I know the Jets are probably ranked like 27th past defense, but we're ranked dead last, so it really doesn't matter. It really just matters who's showing up to play in this game. The Eagles should win this game, but I'm not the type of cocky Eagles fan that's going to go and just say, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I'm, I'm not like that. I honestly think that I don't, I don't I don't care what record a team is. I really don't. I mean, if you go back 2017, like the Chargers, you know, they were losing every game. They were, what, 0-3, 0-4, whatever it was. You know, we almost lost that game, okay? You cannot write off these teams that come in with bad records because they're going to fight. Um, but the Eagles are going to fight a lot tougher, I think, in this game. I just don't see the Eagles losing this game regardless. I think the Eagles could be up by two scores, um, you know, give or take two scores. But, you know, other than that, you know what? Defense needs to play lights out or try to at least. These corners are going to get burned regardless. It doesn't matter who's that quarterback for the Jets. Honestly, at this point, these corners cannot do anything. Okay, if there's a nice pass rush, if this Jets offensive line doesn't really stick together like they have, uh, like they have really haven't been the past few weeks, you know, it's going to be a good day for the Eagles. Um, and offensively, they just can't be off the field. No three and outs, no nothing. I'm hoping that they can stay consistent. I'm hoping that from this Packers game last Thursday night that this can be the thing that we're doing now, okay, and being consistent with the run, balancing out run and pass, um, getting Alshon Jeffrey on the field. Alshon Jeffrey will be more healthy, which is good because Alshon Jeffrey did not play 100, wasn't 100% going into that game with the calf. Um, on Thursday, and I could tell he was 100%, but still played pretty damn good. Not bad. Dropped one pass in the end zone that was pretty defended pretty good by Kevin King, but um, I've had no problem um, with him coming back. But you know, uh, Nelson Aguilar should be have a good focus in this game as well. They only passed to him 
one time last Thursday, and it wasn't. It was a totally missed pass, but only targeted Nelson Aguilar one time. So I guess they didn't trust him too much with the ball last week. They wanted to get the ball in Alshon's hands and kind of spread the ball around a little bit to Zach Ertz and you know Dallas Goddard and a few other guys. Corey Clement is another guy that's going to be coming into this, this game. Um, he is back, so um, Corey Clement is going to be in this rotation. I'm actually liking the Miles Sanders, Jordan Howard rotation a lot, like the one-two punch. But we might have a one-two-three punch now. Um, and Deuce Daly says a lot of things about this running back room. He said uh, a day or two ago that this is a three-headed monster with Corey Clement and, and uh, a four-headed monster, really. With You got Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles didn't even get a pass, not even a handoff last Thursday. So I'm very glad that Doug is not overly using Darren Sproles like he has been in the past, which is good because if you need to use Darren Sproles, then use him. He's like the secret Swiss, the secret Swiss army knife. Sorry, couldn't say that right. Um, so... Clement, Sproles, Miles Sanders, Jordan Howard. Jordan Howard's going to get the ball before anybody. And that's just the way it is. Jordan Howard opens things up, tires out defenses. And this is the and this is when you can run the ball with Jordan Howard, tire out the defensive line. So then when you pass the ball, they're out of breath, can't get a pass rush, and Wentz has all day to throw. That's the whole reason of having a bruiser back in Jordan Howard. So, um, And you talk about the Jets' corners. And they're pretty damn bad. They're pretty much as bad as ours, really. Um, I think ours are maybe are a tick better. Like, not by much, guys. Let's not go crazy about it. But um, as of right now, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this game. I am. I'm excited to watch it. And uh, I was going to go to this game, but um, no, not going to happen. I'm probably going to go to another game probably in a few weeks. Uh, so other than that, um, I'm excited. I am excited. But I'm not writing off this team, okay? Like, I'm not going to be pumping my chest and acting like we're hot shit. Because we're not. Because we make a lot of mistakes. The only way these Eagles will lose this game is the Eagles. <laughs> and that's just plain and simple. The Eagles only beat themselves. And it is right. You know, no penalties. You know, no mistakes. Doug has to be smart, and uh, I know he can do it. I know Doug can do it. I have no problem with his play calling. I have no problem with Deuce Daly with his rotation of the running backs and these receivers. You know, we have, we're have we down our receiver in Deshaun Jackson, but I just don't think we need him for this game just because the Jets aren't really a huge threat team. But they're going to play, and they're going to fight, and they're going to try to punch us in the mouth. But we're going to punch him back, and that's how it's going to go. So other than that, guys, that's really it. I see the Eagles winning this game. I see him putting at least 30 points on this team. I could see that happening, you know, 30 to 10, maybe. Okay, but I see the Eagles at least being up by at least two scores uh, to win this game. Um, I, it's just by how the Eagles are playing. And you know what? I wouldn't blame the Jet fans too much because you know what? This... This Eagles, de this Eagles team with so the, the resilience of this defense and just how they fight, they, this team fights way too hard to lose a game. Even if they do lose a game, they put up a fight doing it, and they don't lose by much. And it's usually by one possession, one catch. It's pretty much all we've lost by this year. So facing your Jets at home, I think they need to be at home. I think they need to, the jolt of the crowd, and I think... It would be nice to have a home game, you know, and just go out there and beat this team and, and get ready for a tough schedule with good, you know, receivers, good defenses. And, you know, you have a tough road ahead a little bit. So, um, and you got to, you know, get to Sean Jackson back in a couple weeks. And you know what? It's just it's not going to get easier. But, you know, I'm not going to say I'm not going to just walk on the jet and say, oh, this is going to be a, a cakewalk. But every time we do this shit, when we, we come into a team where it's going to be – especially it's going to be easy it never is and we usually always let teams creep on us um late in the game or whatnot but the eagles are very good um they scored as many points they did in the first half as they have like the past few games start of the season and you know second half we're the better team as usual okay uh but with no slow starts this game i don't want to see the eagles on a slow start i want to see them with the run game i want to see them balance out the pass and work the middle of the field because the you know the jets are down two linebackers out for the year um so it's a very big weak spot in the middle of the field now snaggler should probably have a good day the run game not really strong at defensive tackle. Quentin Williams is one guy. He's not going to do it all by himself. Leonard Williams is there, not really doing much unless, you know, our offensive line decides not to play. That's a different story. If our offensive line doesn't play 100%, it's going to be some trouble in paradise. Okay, so 
I'm happy with what we're doing. And uh, you know what? I just want to see consistency. I want to see that there, if I see like a totally different game where we really look like shit but still won the game, there's going to be a huge problem. But I'm really hoping that there's consistency with the run game. There's consistency with passing the ball, you know, and Wentz makes good decisions, which he has. Wentz has been playing absolutely amazing this year. His stats should be a lot higher than they are because even that Detroit game with the seven drop passes, the two fumbles, um, you know, you know, I mean, the running back should fumble twice. But um, other than that, that's really it. So I'm expecting a big win on Sunday. I am. Um, I'm not writing this team off. And we just got to start scoring in the first half. And we need to keep the consistency going. You just went out there and beat Green Bay. Okay? You beat Green Bay. You beat Aaron Rodgers. We haven't done that in a long time, guys. So hoping for a win. Make it 11-0 and against the New York Jets. The Jets have not beat the Eagles in franchise history. Uh, so other than that, that's really it. And any comments below, let me know. I'll see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, let's fly.